Hello everybody and welcome to another Twilight Zone Retro Review. Today it is Season 1, Episode 14, Third from the Sun, once again written by Rod Serling, and starring Fritz Weaver as Bill Sterka, Edward Andrews as Carling, Joe Morales as Jerry Ridden, and Denise Alexander as Jody. Okay, so here's a good example once again of where Serling took a very, very basic concept and made it work, as opposed to the last episode, Four of Us Are Dying, which was more complex than it needed to be and didn't work. This episode works very well. And this episode opens up, and we are introduced to the characters of Sturka and Carling, and they are talking about some kind of war that they know about that is coming to the planet soon. And you can tell right away that Carling seems somewhat interested by it, and Sturka is really disturbed by it. And the next scene, after Rod Serling's narration, we get Sturka at home, and we're introduced to his daughter Jody, and his wife, his family. And they talk a little bit about his work, and you can tell that he feels guilty about working on making weapons that might help to destroy everything. And then his wife comes in, and they all have a conversation about how everyone is afraid of everything that's going on. And he then tells his wife about a plan to leave, that they need to get out of there because there's a chance that everything, including the planet, can be destroyed. Now, I got to admit, the first time I saw this episode, excuse me, they gave a great mislead. And I really, really believed that the planet they were on, spoiler alert, was Earth. And as you'll see at the end of this episode, it isn't. But I'll get back to that later. So anyway, then his um, his friend, Sturka's friend, Jerry, comes over. And they discuss their plan to leave as Jerry is in on it as well. And it turns out that Carling was listening to it the whole time. So that isn't a good thing, and we wonder what's going to happen next. We switch to that night, and they're discussing the plan more. Um, Jerry's there with his wife as well, and Carling comes over. He pretty much hints that he knows the plan, and we pretty much figure out that he does know the plan at this point. And some good tension builds up for the rest of this scene. And Carling leaves, but we pretty much know he knows what's going on now. So we get to the final scene where they're getting ready to board the ship, um, Sturka's family and Jerry's family, and they're looking for their lookout. They're supposed to have a lookout that's going to tell them it's okay to go. And i got to say, this spaceship is pretty bad looking. I don't think I would trust that thing, but I know it was the times. Those were the effects they had, but it's a pretty bad looking spaceship and a little bit small too. But anyways, back to the episode. So... They go, they, they blink their lights, and it turns out that Carling is there, and he's holding a gun on them. And he talks about how they're going to do what he says, and he's going to take them to the authorities. And he's got the gun on them, and it's actually the daughter, Jody, who opens the door and hits his hand, knocking the gun away from him, and then they knock him out. So the, the five of them, uh, Jerry and his wife, and Sturka and his family, board the ship, and they talk about how they're nearing their destination, which is Earth. So the mislead in the twist was that the viewer, um, at least I did, thought they were on Earth and trying to get away from Earth. But in this episode, they are actually start on a different unnamed planet, and Earth is actually the planet of hope where they're going to, which is an interesting twist that still holds up today. Um making Earth the, the good planet, the planet of hope, is interesting. And you can take that how you will, um, depending on how you feel about Earth. I won't get into a big thing on that, but that's an interesting twist, and it holds up well. And I have to say that the art direction and cinematography in this episode are very good. Um, there's some cool art direction, some tricky camera angles that really make you unsure of exactly where they are and what's happening. There is... Uh, a couple issues with this episode, however. Um, not huge issues, but issues that that bug me a little bit. Um, 
Like, why does Carling care so much what they do? It doesn't really involve him. I mean, if he wants to stay there, stay there. It, I know there's people like this that just like to pry into everything, but it would have been nice to have a motivation from the villain character. It feels just kind of odd that we don't know why he is this way. And the other issue is the replay value on this episode's only average. I mean, you can rewatch it as I did fine, but once you really know the twist or if you figure out the twist, it's not as effective. But it's still a solid, good episode and miles above the last one. So I'm going to give Third from the Sun a 3.5 out of 5. 3.5 out of 5. Thanks for watching.